Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. And we are, well, Transport Fever 2. We are in. I forgot where we are. Are we in Zweizerman? No. Frutigan. There we go. It says it on the on the signpost right there, Grand. Good start. We're in Switzerland, though, I can say that much. Virtual Switzerland at that. And what are we planning today? Well, it's our next freight line, a biggie. We're going to be deliver. Well, we're going to make a start on it and then deliver coal over there. Yes, we're heading through that gap in the mountain to the uh, steelworks that's over there. There we go. Back to normal. So yeah, that's a. It's going to be a big build. However, I feel like we need yet another reliable source of income that's uh, steady. Passengers fluctuate a little bit as they as they move around the cities and towns. We do have one money earner currently, and that is our original and first train route, which is the uh, login route behind us, which does go through Zweizerman. Yes, that's why I was thinking of Zweizerman. So, should we get on with it today? It's going to be a bit different. Today is, is not about recreations. Today is about artistic license and sort of playing the game and sort of not i say sort of not playing the game as the ideal and most profitable way to create this line there's our coal mine there's where we need to go it would be let's zoom in a second this is how you would do it if you want to make the most amount of money from a train yep <laughs> crow flies you want to go as close as possible there we go all the way through like that funnily enough it actually makes it all the way i mean it's doing some interesting stuff here we could use n and just drop it down there we go and give it a bit of a bow but there 23.9 million will get you the most efficient route from point a to point b and that would make you the most profit as you have uh, the least amount of track time possible as it's a direct route it's not actually that bad is it it would be kind of cool to do that um, in a gaming sense but that's not what i would like to do where's the challenge in that there is none in fact we could afford to do that as i believe how much money we got so during the intro we've managed to crawl our way to 9 million 9.2 that's pretty amazing in the pre as it drops to seven and a half in the previous episode it honestly looked like we were gonna go bankrupt but our our money train one of them as you can see there uh kept making us money thankfully so what we're we gonna do we're gonna have uh, a fancy little mountain railway run down here and we're gonna connect into this existing one as we're gonna be playing on the side of realism ish within the realms of possibility anyway uh, as well as uh, being a little bit flamboyant with our track lane as we're going to have a, a helix thing yes going here so should we get going should we get a station we've got eight and a half million so that should fund us if we keep playing the game we are making money as it goes down rather than losing it actually before we do it let's just check on the uh, station here yeah, still plenty of people wanting to... That's not what that should be called anymore. No. That would be... Uh, actually, it has a proper name, doesn't it? I'll put the proper name in before the next episode. But for now, we might as well call it what it is. Mountain Railway. There we go. We'll just call it that for now. I'll put the uh, the actual name in between episodes. Because I need to do some copy and pastes. Pastes. <laughs> copy and pasting to get the uh, correct letters in for the, the actual name because I can't I can't remember the alt codes to get that done anyway you're waffling man are you making us money I mean in the great scheme of things you're not costing us money no no you're not not even close we've just ticked into a new year so we can ignore that bit how many people do you have on you're full we could stick a couple more wagons on these one on each i mean that might be beneficial for us if we can afford it which i think we can actually get both of these we'll do them together passenger we could put these we could 
replace them with the uh, new wagons we unlocked. We've got these as well. There's a slight issue with those. We might put them on towards the end. I mean, yes, it carries more people. 17. Same speed. It's a little bit heavier. Well, five tons heavier, so it might be better just for now to add these on the back. I'm sure we'll make use of those shortly. That gives us 98. 1.6 million. I'll take it. That should hopefully mean that they pick up a few more people from Spitz down here, which they will. Perfect, which is a bit more money, isn't it? For us in our pockets, where's that other train? It's making its way down. 52 people to drop off at Brig. That's going to make us a small fortune. How is Brig Station doing now we've changed it? 75 waiting to go back through the mountain. Guys. I mean, I think this helped us as it's a bit more direct or a lot more direct. And there's one of our blue trams that we repurposed from our temporary shuttle line that we had running to the old station that's been demolished. And now we have lots of people waiting to go to uh, Doma de Sala and uh, a few people going on the Brig Connect. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's get this build. I'm not going to put it off any longer. Where are we? We're all the way over here. This is going to cost us an arm and a leg. Not actual arm and a leg, but it's going to cost us a fortune. I think we can do it. Let's get us... We're going to get a, a pass-through station in here. The reason being... I'm looking for the cheapest here. We could go up here, but it will cost us somewhere in the region of 800,000. Down here. Half the price almost. Yeah, as I was saying... These stations, the through stations, will have our truck. Oh, we didn't want to electrify it. Not yet, anyway. It's fine. We'll leave it in. Eventually, it's going to be electrified. Get on with what you was explaining, man. I'm also letting the money go up. Right. Yes. These uh, these through stations, our trains will stop in the middle as opposed to uh, going right to the buffers. Which, uh, I mean, it's a, a little bit of optimization. We need us a little road, don't we? to uh, head up to our coal mine there so we're going to enter through the the side up here like that and then we'll we'll stay flat ish around here just head down once we uh, see a good place to head down like there there we go and then we can head down pretty sharpish because it's just a little access road for us i mean technically oh yeah you need, we do have curved on you technically need to do this a little better there we go, straight there, and then that shouldn't be too bad. It's it's kind of nice, isn't it? We can just pretend that, that, there we go, we're connected. We can just pretend that there's some sort of conveyor belt system running down and that there's hoppers across the track and things. I mean, that would be lovely to set up, but doesn't exist. We have to make it over here. First thing to do, let's take a look at the lay of the land. What height are we at? We're at... 50 meters what height do we need to get to 50 meter well the odds on that in the real uh, gamey world not in the real world in the gamey world that would be perfect to just plow straight through all of this ignore it's there and and get the shortest route possible it looks like what we're going to have to do is go up and down because we want to get over this section here let's bring up this again yeah this section is at about 100 meters here and this is the lowest point that we go through. Uh, we might have a little tunnel just there. Take it up to about the 80 meter mark. And then hug the side of this mountain. And then we'll do some shenanigans over here as well. Like I said, I do want a double helix of some sort. Not a double helix, a single helix. I've been told that Mr. Failure calls them a, a helix, double helix thingy. I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to building this. We're going to turn off the uh, catenary at the moment. We do need to uh, follow the lay of the land a little bit here. It would be nice to have some sort of speed going on. I guess we need to build with this on so we can get a rough idea where we need to be heading. I would like to avoid heading up, if possible, right from the station, just so we've got a uh, smoother connection there. But now we're going to start heading up and making our way... Uh, to this section here where we will have a little tunnel however it looks like it curves around here which looks like the ideal situation to have a sort of spiral 
heading up where we go over the top of ourselves. Right, can we do that? That's the question. I don't mind too much about speed. We're going to have to scrub some speed off, obviously. But, right, there we go. Let's get in there. And then we'll do our little raise up and then around. Because we've, we've still got a few, few notches to go on the old contours there. There we go. 53 was that. If we keep it at 53. I know, strange number. But that's what we're doing. Then it should be almost a perfect circle-y type thing. We are going to make some bridging. Because why not? It would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? We are going to run round. I can't see the speed now. That's nice. The bridge is all over the speed. I guess we're going to... There we go. Bring some more speed uh, signs up. Is 50 a bit uh, too loose? I don't know. It's kind of nice. We've got a ridiculous bridge. But that's what I'm planning. This is what we're doing. Now, if we go all the way across here and flatten out how are we looking that is perfect i didn't mean to get that straight away there we go there's your spiral guys that you've been asking for is did i do it justice we go past ourselves there and then we're not going to go any higher we're going to make a little tunnel here so we're going to have some bridging we're going to have some tunnels we've got some spirals we're doing all sorts of cool stuff right what are we at 78 meters what is this line here we want to be at about sort of ground level we want to cut into the side there so if we go straight across from here because we don't want to go any higher but we don't want to make a ridiculous tunnel so we're not high enough are we let's go a little bit higher let's keep going up we'll have a flat section there uh, a little chance for our locos to uh, catch their breath but not much of a flat section but it's a little bit of a flat section at the very least right we'll keep going up like that there we go and then we can turn into the hillside here we've gained a little bit more height what are we at now almost 80 meters i wouldn't mind going actually to 80 meters we'll go 90 on that corner and then we'll go straight through here how does that do does that give us a nice short tunnel it's still a bit long i think we have to go up even further well scrub the idea about having a bit of a breather we're going to keep going up, aren't we? Yep. I don't want to uh, make an unnecessarily long tunnel. Ideally. That's all right. We should be able to get this. Do we want another little bridge? Bridge then tunnel. I mean, it's not a bad idea. We're going a little too high now. Typical. Well, if we go to this point here, then we could have maybe arches. Kind of like that. And then into a tunnel. So we'll go like that. And then tunnel. Oh, we don't even tunnel now. All right, well, we'll save some cash by not tunneling there. Although it doesn't really. It's actually cheaper to tunnel. There we go. Or is it? I don't know. Are you telling Porky Spies? No, it is definitely more expensive to tunnel. So we'll, we'll avoid the tunnel. The more you know. A little kink in the track there because we want to sit into the mountain. Don't mind that. Then we can speed up again. So it's slowing us down a little bit for the... Uh, the whole spirally section up there. I'm intrigued to see how this looks once it's done. It might look awful. And then we'd have to do it again. I'm a little sad we didn't get a tunnel in. But we could maybe get one heading down up here. That would be fine, wouldn't it? There we go. We're along the mountainside here. This section's much quicker than the other one. We're all flat as well. We'll start heading down soon as we've got to uh, meet this track up. It's actually a long way, isn't it? Goodness me cut right in there there we go i mean our money our money is staying solid there oh i like that we've got a nice cliff base then we'll uh, come around here i'm trying to keep one eye on the speed i'm saying about 90 will do us for this freight train uh, we might upgrade it with faster track at some point there we go now we've got to think how are we going to connect into here we have flying scotsman and a dornier merker there we go. Flying Scotsman. I would like to put the Flying Scotsman on, but given that we are definitely going to the uh, UK, possibly after this series, I think we'll save the British locos for then. Or British trains. Do we want a tunnel there? Not really. I'd like to cut into the into the mountainside instead. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll force the issue. And then we'll start heading up. We're going to go around this section a little bit. 
And we're going to have to meet this track wherever it is. Where did, how far did we get? Where are we? We're up there. Yeah, so we're going to have to do... I'm going to say a tunnel. Let's do it on maximum grade. We'll go up the side here. Can we get 50? Close enough. I do like this. If we uh, do a little bit of terrain shenanigans after we've finished, it could look kind of cool, this. There we go. We'll go up to about there. How are we looking? We're almost at the right height. But what we need to do now is spin it around, right round, like a record. Like that. Keep it at 50. That's how fast that's going to be. We need to come out that way somewhere. Now, if we just connect this up, what sort of track does... Uh, there, there we go. There's our tunnel. We finally got a tunnel in. It's going to cost us 293000 which isn't too bad. It's almost similar to what we did uh, across that way when we were going through to the other side of the valley. There we go. How does it look? Is it going to be an impressive little cab ride? I think it is, isn't it? How does it look from this side? So when you're on this track, you can see it heading up and then you don't know what's going on. The other side that's lovely oh i like that guys let's just smooth this down we're going to do a little bit of needless official episoding there we go got it in i can hear the money train though yeah there it is gonna make us a fortune all right let's uh, smooth that out let's go over here quickly just drop that down a touch because we want to be able to see it don't we sometimes quick jump on there jump on there just quickly Yes, uh, well, it's it's a bit laggy, but yes. I don't want to alt-tab just yet. There we go. That's steep, though, isn't it? That's a little bit steep, unless uh, we've got a weird angle. Ooh, yeah, crikey, that is super steep. Could we maybe flatten the curve a little bit there? I'm hoping so. Just bring that to there and see if we can't make that a little smoother from that point. Yeah, I don't think we can. In fact, I can't now get round at all. It can't work it out. Let's go like that instead. It looked a bit steep, didn't it? I mean, I don't mind it going up like that, but that was a, a little excessive, I think. Let's bring it round further, and then we can make a, a gradual loop up to this point here. How's that looking? Is that a little smoother? That's a little better, isn't it? Guys, we're into 1925. I forgot we were heading for that. I would like that go up gradual. We have high-speed track. I just noticed them pop up there. That also means we've got fancy one-way roads and things like that. So that makes me all sorts of happy. Right, let's start heading down here gradually. And that might give us a better curve into that place, into that point. Oh, I would like to go a little further out, then around, then in. Yes, it's adding length to the track, but it's also kind of cool. Yes, that's how I'm justifying that. Right, let's start with our 50. Have we gone past? Yes, we've gone past the other one. What sort of height are we at here? We're at 84 meters. That is 115, but that's probably... Yeah, that's, that's above it, unfortunately. What are we at there? 68 and 85 so we're definitely still heading down so that's good it hopefully it's not too aggressive well there we go we've got stage one done we we are going to need some double tracking in places like here and i say i'm going to go and cut the the mountain a little further we're obviously making money this is where we'll do it we'll go single track at the bridge i like that plan don't know what's happening there it does some weird stuff doesn't it sometimes I don't understand that. 60? Can we get 70 without it breaking? There we go. That's better. Yeah, it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it, to keep this bridge single track. And because we've got two lines intersecting now, and we still want to keep things moving, as we are playing with costs on, so we've, we've still got to think about that. However, I do feel... We can still make a, uh, a living from these fancy, extravagant routes. Now, what do we do once we get to this junction? The thing I like about Transport Fever, it does do 99.9% .9 of the time a really nice job of junction work. So, we can let this 
do its work before the tunnel we'll go back to uh, single track 45 will do us just fine connect that into there which means what we can have here is another section of double track i don't expect the two services we have to uh, collide with each other as in two trains on the same line shouldn't have to wait for each other because this is not the halfway point so we should never see that i say should a lot because it might happen and in which case we might need to account for that i think we're okay with this junction though as there are ways to get past for both trains we'll see we can always adjust it if we if we hit any issues anyway we're gonna have oh we've got the new uk signals look at these fancies we'll just put them in quickly there you go that's the uk signal set the newer versions anyway not what we're having i i did notice we've also got the actual swiss dwarf signals there now what else do we have then we don't have any newer french ones they must come along later on perhaps i don't know because these are the pretty much the semaphore ones that we've always seen so maybe we won't get those just yet there goes some more money <laughs> this is the uk dwarf signal the ground dwarf there we have uh, three aspect as well four aspect i didn't see the one at the bottom they don't work as as uh... oh you're on the wrong side i just wondered what was going on there well, i haven't signaled it up yet anyway we're going to stick with semaphores just for now because we don't have the correct lights i don't really want to use the uk ones as lovely as they are because they look a little out of place semaphores we can sort of get away with even though they are technically out of place as well but they're not as out of place as the uh, oh we need these one way they're not as out of place as the uh, the actual lights as far as i'm concerned anyway you can use them if you like we all remember the austrian lights which are lovely but they need to be on the other side of the track and now we've gone ahead and i've <laughs> i've run with this that we're on this side of the track now on the uh, left side so now we're stuck with it and then we need a signal here remember these signals are more for our two separate lines as opposed for trains on the same line i guess halfway we could have a block more than enough room for two trains so we'll go with uh, a midway block there and there we go beautiful yeah, that doesn't look too bad right then stage two we're gonna head off here obviously none of this exists because this track doesn't exist either our freight line this is where we're uh, we're adding to the the region okay where are we heading here grand Although this is a fuel refinery, we are actually going to pass through here because we want to aim through this little section of the mountain rather than just going straight across like that. We're up to 14 million, goodness me. Yeah, we're going to head through here because what that will give us is a little connection. We might be able to have a little uh, stone shunt train running down here that we can connect to and then make a, a hub for these two factories. That's my plan probably not happening today as uh, we, we're kind of doing phase one of a two phase build what we could do though is if we bring up the contours we could make use of this little mound here and head for that at a fixed rate should we wish to uh, do any junction work there we go 55 i don't mind 55 then we can hug here and head across what sort of height are we got now that's enough to clear both i think so we'll go there then we'll run straight along here like that what i would like to do later on once this steel is hooked up we've got iron down here which is going to run into the main line once that's in but once we are producing steel we can go back through that track all the way and then back round, and we'll have a a little junction here for the train to go back and then when we get the uh, machines we follow this same track except we're going to have another junction here and split off and join the main line onto the side probably uh, as we want to avoid the fast trains which we do because they spread off into 
there. It's a, more of a commuter mountain railway, but are using this side of it anyway. So yes, we'll find a way to do that and make it look all fancy. But anyway, Grand, you've got to get across here. You're kind of uh, avoiding it. Oh no, we've got the height, haven't we? That's wonderful. Oh, it's not quiet, is it? Surely that's enough. We could probably put a little bow into it. To say I'm a little sad now is an understatement. It's not even mate. Well, there's the bridge. Really? You can't? I mean, that's ridiculously close, but just a little higher. It's so close. We could try and force the issue by lowering this section of the mountain here. Uh, so we've got a, a flat run up. It's not really a mountain, is it? It's more like a hill. So we can step off the hill there and bridge immediately is what I'm looking for. No, you don't. You don't want to, do you? Well, there's only one thing for it. Take all this back. We'll keep going up just a little further. Uh, if we go there, that gives us a bit more height. It gives us a little more height, doesn't it? Just there. Right, now go straight. Are we a little higher now? Straight. Flat, even. Flat and straight, in fact. Does that give us what we need? Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Oh, yes, it does. There we go. Guys, guys, guys. I think we've got it. We don't want it to slow down that much, though, unfortunately. So, can we go across? No. Well, that way does do it, doesn't it? I mean, we slow down horrendously, but... There, yes. Well, I mean... A slowdown before a bridge on a freight line? Acceptable. Do you know what? Just put it in. How close are we to the catenary? It's beautiful, isn't it? it you're not going to get any better than that, really. Uh, I don't know why I've left an arch bridge in there. It's adorable, but not what we need. If we do that, then... Ooh, I have an idea. Since we've got the bridge in, could we smooth that transition out? Maybe we can get just a little touch of extra speed in there. 43. No, I think that's what we're, we're going to live with. Oh, come on. Just do it a little better. Just a little. No, you've got, now you're making issues for yourself. There we go. 48? Ooh, I like that. 48. That's a little smoother, isn't it? I like it. Now, the question is, for the future purposes is this going to make a nice junction there we go let's let's make our intentions clear for later on we've got a uh, part of a project being built there now we need to head down here don't we i mean i don't know whether we have to head down at all because i'm pretty sure well you can make sure uh we're at 66 meters here what do we head to towards the factory 69 no so we we can in fact head for this uh mountain side couldn't we well we got to remember that the other tracks gonna be here so if we stay flat and straight ish there I bet we come up to meet the air yeah, there we go we do we come up to meet the uh, ground there we'll leave that straight up till that point and flat the reason being is it's gonna be double tracked here because we need to think about the oil refinery, the actual deliveries to that, which are going to come up this main line and branch off somewhere down here, I would imagine. I'm not sure. We could even head over the top and into the branch line like that. That might be a better idea for us. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we need to head that way then with our freight liney thing. Which means this needs to go on like that. And as long as that junction doesn't look too awful. It's beautiful. And that is almost flat, isn't it? Heading out there. Oh, I like it, guys. And we've got the other one here. And we've got this one. Right then, let's get this in. Anyway, we needed to fix this, which I did not do. We're up to 16.2 million. Right, we are going to have to pause it for this as I would like to redraw this section of track as you see that there's a little bit of height difference. It means that that track isn't fully double tracked. Not correctly anyway. Not as solid as I would like it. I need it properly double tracked. In fact, could we? Let's do it. Let's start part of this uh, 
track infrastructure upgrade for our express line. But yeah, look at those numbers. 300, 287. Beautiful. Because eventually our high speed trains are going to run down here or our higher speed trains. <laughs> they're not, they're not going to be the fastest. We could uh, magic wand a bunch of that. Not going to cost us too much. There we go. Work is underway. We've started that. We're going to make a little access road eventually. Do not panic. That should uh, give us a better road there as well. Since we're up here, we might make a little bridge over to that road as well. What are we going to need here? Buildings. We're going to need... I'm going to say three to start with. We're going to need the oil to come in, aren't we? And the fuel to go out. And a track for us to pass by. So we're going to go up there somewhere. There we go. We're going to come through and around the back. It's a bit of a build this, isn't it? Goodness me. I was not expecting it to take this long. Isn't that always the way in Transport Fever? What are we going to do with this? I don't really want it to be a track, though. Yeah, we can get rid of this section of track. It does that silly thing with making uh, tracks with about a million different nodes. So, no, I don't want to do that. What we could do is if we draw a straight line along the platform here because i would kind of like the platform there even though it, we're never using it obviously because it's uh it, it's not connected to the station i want to make it look like it was connected to the station now we can go in here and get rid of that last section and there we go we've got a perfectly aligned piece of track going to the platform keep you straight and flat and true and now we can double track to the side of it which will look a little bit like sidings now. It's going to be an active track. This one's going to be the main line. So we're going to connect up to there. Doesn't matter how fast we go as we are connecting to a station and going to be slowing down hopefully anyway. Well, no, we will be slowing down. Let's get a bit creative with this. Let's look, make it look more like it should be a thing. There we go. We want to be heading into here. So what we're going to do is slow down for it. We can take this one up, I hope. Again, if you're playing the game, you wouldn't do it like this. You'd do it uh, a little more efficiently. But I like this for looks. And um, I would say a touch of realism, especially as this could act as a sidings as well. How could we do that? Well, you can have a crossover there with both of these leading out and have some sidings up this side like that. There we go. Which then branches back off. And this can curve round, stay straight, which gives us some scenery, doesn't it? It's just a few places to stick some empty containers, locos, stable locos up. We could have that one branch out that way for where our locos turn around. We could even come out this way as well, because I want to make this as part of the, uh, the other section we have down here this is what we're linking up to over there so this is like a bypass line does it look too bad for some reason we're heading down there that's a little unfortunate i don't know why i thought this was all flat it's probably this section here wasn't flat was it no so we need to do that at the last minute that's fine now it should be flat there we go i got it guys i fixed it a little connection where do we want this oh yeah we can get away we're doing this can't we because it's fake but we can have a crossover into the sidings there there we go that works better that can go back into there that is smooth and it's lovely does that give us all access no i think you need to come across here as well don't you otherwise you can't get back and does it look okay now now we can come down here yeah, there is a bit of a grade on that, isn't there? I made a boo-boo. Well, we can knock that back as well. Up to this junction, which should be flat. I know, you don't have to do it, but I like it to look the part. Right, let's leave that bit nice and flat. And then that'll... Maybe even straight too would help. Yeah, it was heading up a little bit, which is needless anyway. But what we can do is make sure this is all lovely by heading in does that are they at different heights what's going on there they look like they're at different heights to me is it just deceiving i think it might just be deceiving with this little 
divot we've got there. Okay, we're in. We're in. Then we can bring this in. And I think 55 is more than enough speed to go through a, uh, a siding slash station. Right, keep this bit flat as well. And this bit. And then we need a good crossover speed. Well, 55, isn't it? We need to slow down 55 to go through the station, ideally. There we go, beautiful. There, 55, that's how how fast you can take that junction. Um, do we need a, a crossover here? Technically, we have one there. I guess what would be nice is uh, another one this side as well. Again, it, it, we could slow us down as well if we do it right. Let's slow that one down to 50 there. And then that gives us a bit of room, doesn't it, to have longer than 320 meter trains for our freight. Perfect. Right, now that we've got our junctions in, what we might be able to do is actually connect this up and not care about the, uh, the grade. Perfect. There we go. That's a little better. Guys, we're in, finally. Do we want this double tracked around here? Probably. Given we're going to have the other trains coming this way as well. Uh, but we'll leave it for now. I don't think we need it now. Depends. Will that be the halfway point? We might need it. We are connected here. Let's get rid of that. Guys, I would say we're almost done with phase one. We're going to bring this round. And we're going to keep that strat. Straight. Strat? Straight. Uh, this is going to be sidings. No, you've done the wrong one. Now I've given away what, we, what we've got planned. This one's a sidings, isn't it? This is the main line. This is going to come round. 75 will do. Like that. We're heading over to this uh, mountain here with a nice little curve. Right, you can start heading up a little bit now. I don't think we're crossing anymore. No, we're not. So we can do that and that. This one can then go straight across like that because this is heading to the depot, like so. Hopefully that's made perfect crossing. Lovely. And this is then going to come back around and meet it. I'm going to say like that would be perfect. There we go. We've got all the crossings. We need one to connect into here, ideally. We've now got a connection to the depot. And in fact, we can extend our depot sidings a little bit from the from the factory, can't we? So that doubles as more scenery. There we go. Oh, it's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Which means we need a crossover there. Perfect. There's our crossovers. What are we else are we missing? Another crossover just there. Oh, I love it. And we connect into here. In fact, could we not go around this way? Nope, you can't. Not from there, anyway. You can from there. Go around there, and the other one can come in there. All the tracks. See, this one, this one goes direct into the depot. Uh, this bit might need extending. No, we'll leave that as is. I think that's enough fake depot sort of area, don't you? We've got a little bypass bit up to this sidings here. You can get back into here, can you? Oh, no, you can't. Uh, you'd need to somehow get into here. Oh, yes, you... Well, I say that. Up to this one. This one's just used for turning around. No, we can, we can get about everywhere we need. Because from there, you can get on up to there and then you can go back yeah you can get to everywhere can't you you just can't get direct from some tracks which is fine all right a bit more official episode because i think i do want to put my name to this <laughs> there we go guys there we go i think we can unpause it now make some more cash we can even do some scenery work out here eventually it's all looking a little better now isn't it We'll put some gravel down, put some buildings around maybe. Maybe some locos as well on the uh, sidings and some wagons. I'll need to find some of those. Hopefully some unlock for us. 
Oh, you're beautiful. Tidy that bit up as well. Stick the strength up. Get that all tidy. Hit play again, because we can make some money back. Obviously, we want this all smooth, because it's supposed to be one big yard. And now we connect from the depot and the sidings here to our, our big factory area just up there. And we get a nice view of the main line, which is going to get busier and busier. We've also unlocked our new roads, so eventually what we're going to have over here, I might as well do some, right, is these. We're going to start putting these in everywhere. There you go, it's going to start to look marvellous, isn't it? I mean, that's an unnecessary hump in the road. I don't know what we could do with that. I think what I'll do is I'll electrify our mountain railway and give it high speed track because that's how it is in real life. Perfect. Get some of these divots out. I don't see the point. Oh, that looks better straight away. Yeah, that, that was throwing me. There was a like a pothole and then a hill up to the road. So it looked a bit bizarre. Now it looks like it's supposed to be. There we go. Beautiful. All right, leave it alone. Guys, phase one, unfortunately, no train yet. What we have got is most of the way there. When we come back then, we're going to be heading down here, building a little bit of a hub for our, our two factories there, and then we're done. And we'll get us a coal train on that's going to make us some more money. Probably going to double track some more areas, depending on when the halfway point is. We are more than likely going to need two we could go with one huge coal train. Uh, just depends. We want to think about a, a stone line running down here, shunting stone into this factory. You'll see we've uh, balanced out our demand a little more and we've even kicked up production. Let's find the shortest cab ride in history. As, as I've gone a little bit over because that was a build and a half. Hey, this is perfect. That's been a, a productive episode. We've got a, a big chunk of a new a new coal line built. Heads into our factories. We're on board our original um, our original mountain railway and freight line that has now been joined by a partial build of our new coal line, which is going to make us a, a steady income to go along with with this. Uh, this loco as well this loco this train yes and it's a counterpart which is somewhere near Zweizimo at the moment I would imagine because we've about balanced them we're gonna have to do something similar with our coal line or we have one massive train I don't know we'll decide once we get there so I'll leave you with a little journey back and uh, when we come back we'll, we'll finish off the coal line and get a train on there and it did look like we're making a lot of money, so that's good. And until then, take care.